if you ever criticize them. Like, you, did you see on the subreddit? Someone made a very reasoned and impassioned defense of everything everywhere all at once. And they said, NL, I understand that you don't have a lot of time right now. Um, but at the same time, everything everywhere all at once really is a special movie that you should make an effort to go see. I said plus two to that. Someone replied, yeah, he's just a boomer who has a 20-hour work week. His mom has been in town for 30 days doing all of his chores. And uh, yet he complains about being busy all the time. I'm like, what the hell? My mom's not doing all of my chores. She's just doing the dishes. I would never make my mom take down the garbage or the recycling. That shit is like stinky. I wouldn't debase her like that. The dishes? Yeah, if she offers. <laughs> like if you go to school as a, you know, a, a 50 year old that you have to be retraining, you could just be doing it for like personal development. Like, sometimes people, they, they think it's like a little own, but actually it's very complimentary. They say, what are you doing with your programming degree? And first off, I say, it's not a programming degree. I, uh, it's a programming associate's diploma. So first off, thanks for thinking that I put it in like a lot more work than I actually did. Secondly, I'm fucking enjoying my life, like, playing Isaac and having people say plus two for all of my ignorant takes, despite the fact that, you know, there's no evidence to back them up whatsoever. Is good, man. And also, while I was in programming school, you know, I did a reasonable amount of work, but also I learned a lot and I enjoyed myself. To the burger, at least cerebrally. I don't mind the burger, but I will say also that I feel like the the food category of hamburger is like one of the most overrated uh, f food genres of all. I've had some good burgers in my life, but I've never eaten a burger where I was like, oh my god, I would love to just eat this even more. By the time I eat, finish it, I'm like, okay, I'm ready, I'm done with it. That's hot dogs? I mean, I would never order a hot dog at a restaurant either, probably. Maybe at Ikea? Most underrated? You're gonna get me in trouble because we've been down this road so many times. Thailand, everything screaming Thailand. Thailand, use the topography. I think we're around here in the mountainous regions. This is a nice temple, man. Dude, how sick would this be as a map in Tony Hawk's Pro Skater? They'd be like, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up! I said, I gotta live this way forever. And then Bucky Lassick's coming down, doing like uh, a handstand manual and throwing kickflips in like crazy just to keep the combo going. Oh, come on, Eileen. I swear to you this moment. This is Montenegro. I don't even need to look. Right ish. Any that looks like Albania, dude. The Adriatic Sea is on our west. Dude, this is freaking Albania. That's Kosovo. That's North Macedonia. He's insane. It's act the for the first time in GeoGuessr history, we've had the, the best map of all time. It's a non-useless map. I told you you should have killed me when you had the chance. I told you. We take those. That was a good England, explain yourself, please. It's fried rice with chicken on top of it. There's some gravy on the chicken and then half the plate is made of french fries. That looks great. That looks amazing. What are you talking? Are you joking? <laughs> that actually looks good. This is like a citizenship test. If you say this looks good, I don't need to play Where You At Wednesday. I already know where you're from. This looks fantastic. Why are there french fries? Hey, we're gonna get there. I just need to find the screen region. Ooh, card shank. 
Hold on, that'd be a good bit to start the video. <clears throat> Ooh! Card Shank! Pretty excited, we're playing Card Shark today. This is a new game from Devolver Digital from the developers of Reigns. You may know Reigns as um, Game of Thrones Tinder, where you try to keep four bars balanced, like a sim who can't decide if they want gooey carbonara or if they need the- Pour me a drink. Okay, I can do this. You swipe. Ooh. The thing with wine, you want to decant it very, very slowly. So that it gets maximum time to aerate. That's a per- Oh, I'm insane! <laughs> Let's go! Many thanks, lad. Now, why don't you keep me company? Take a seat. Um, I hesitate. I have work to do. I insist. Sit, sit. All right, well. Boss isn't going to be too happy about this. I couldn't help but notice your mistress is rather rough with you. Can't you speak? You can't help. Tick tock, tick tock. I can do this. If you see a majority of diamonds, wipe in a straight line up and down. Because diamonds will take you from the bottom, now we here. Nailed it. And finally, if you need to signal clubs, wipe the table in a side-to-side -side, side -side pattern because in the club, you'd be dancing like this. It's so easy. Excellent. You seem to be getting the hang of it. I've thrown a lot at you, but should we try the next trick? Sure. Dude, I can handle it. I have a four-year degree in biology. Now, let's try having you peek over my shoulder as you pour me a fresh drink. When you've seen my hand, signal to me the best suit. Ready to give it a try? He's not going to do it. He doesn't have the stones. Yo, let's go. Good ending. That's unfortunate. Forgive me, lad. I got a little carried away. The law will soon be upon us. We need to go now. That odious fellow appears to have left his purse. How careless. Yoink. I am a great believer in only worrying about those things we have control over, and we have no control over this craft. Therefore, we should not worry. The Comte de Saint-Germain. Donald Rumsfeld. There are known knowns, things we know we know. There are known unknowns, things we know we don't know. But then there are also unknown unknowns. The things we don't know that we don't know. And that's what we should truly be concerned about. Donald Rumsfeld, 2002. If you'll excuse me. Irenio, my friend, did you hear that in the breeze? The rustle of the leaves and the murmur of the nearby brook? Yes, our good friend the Comte has come. Doesn't matter. Doesn't even matter what we swap. Ha! Huh, I thought this would at least be hard. It's this one. The, the Watch the sus fade. This is easy money. All right, I'm sold. Gontran, you fool. Run it again. I want to make a wager. How does 10 sound? Sounds good to me. Apparently, I'm in debt. I didn't even know that concept was invented yet, but... You know what we do? We let him get overconfident. He doesn't have to know we're in debt. He could just think this is a business expense. He'll get greedy. He'll try to put more money on it. And that's where we strike. Sophie, what happened to Sophie? How could I be the last one standing? Where have you all gone, my friends? You can't see? Oh, it, uh, he's fine. He just, um, he just got, uh, food poisoning. Never forget it. I don't have to hide my violence, unlike you, when it's, when it's my chat that told me to move my camera. Old fool, dramatic and incontinent to the end. That's what I want my eulogy to say. Let's go. There's nothing left for us to do here. I wonder where Theodore is hiding. I can do better than that. Listen, I can't change your world, but I can build it back as it was. I can bring you to before your untimely demise. 
I've already restored the money you had before dying. Obviously, bringing, back, bringing you back to life is going to cost you something. I want your time. It's 11.22 a.m. Who? <gasps> He's right. It read my system clock, dude. Those are numbers, not time. I cannot give you time. Then I must eat your soul. So, yes, let's play a game of shadows. And if you win, I will not eat your soul. And I will give you another chance at life. Look at that. Store the ace, walk away. Of course, we are innocent. I accuse. What are you saying? Colonel Gabriel is the cheat? Maitre Legon, that is precisely what we're saying. How dare you? What is that ace doing on your chair, Colonel? He didn't even play the game with us, though. He, he just got here. He just, <laughs> he, just, he just showed up two seconds ago. No, enough. This is most problematic, Colonel. I cannot in good conscience let you take these men. You're free to leave now. I will find you again. The perfect crime. High, low, middle, middle. Get killed. You improved, young man. It is time, Theodore. We've sated your thirst for barbaric displays of violence. It's time to tell us about the 12 bottles of milk. All right, if you must. We take one down and pass it around 11 bottles of milk on the wall. And then... And be careful. We have heard much already. We will know if you lie to us. Peace, my friend. Peace. I will tell you everything. At the turn of the century, I was a young musketeer under the orders of Justin Timberlake. One day, the young Louis XV summoned us for a secret visit. A visit to the Twelve Bottles. Nice try. I actually landed it. I felt it. Because I'm worthy. I told you. The, the Thor's Hammer Initiate is the greatest game of all time. Is the greatest weapon in video game history. 11 kills. What a rush. What a rush. <laughs> Holy cow. Look at this. Tier 20 on the battle pass. Let the bells of Valhalla ring. 30% blue collar... You know, the health of and, and cleanliness of his hands. Like, he's out there probably keeping the damn aqueducts running or something like that. And you're like, ooh, his fingernails have some dirt underneath them. Who do you think's keeping the damn trains running on time while we're here shitposting? Show some respect. Plus two. Let's go! Plus two! He is getting plus twos. Thank you, Comrade Ryan. I am a friend of the working population. Because if I stopped working, nobody... King of Spades. King of Spades. We're going to stay King of Spades. Spades is this and then push it out there you go what everything was right do not get it twisted don't gamble you will lose i'm getting swindled no wonder he wasn't getting sussed the poor boy is shocked too go take a walk lad but pour me a glass before you leave won't you yeah, yeah. How to stay silent for 10 years. Her husband was in the army. A gruesome story I dare not tell you. Please, dear Compton, don't, accept, don't upset our guest. Let's enjoy the evening instead. Madame, are you joining us at the table? Alas, Graciella will just observe this game. That poor lamb never gets the rules right. I kind of love it when he disrespects me. We're missing a player then. Let me see. Julie, Julie, are you joining us? What the hell is my grandma? With supreme pleasure. Comte de Saint-Germain, we meet again. 
Julie Daubigny, I didn't expect to meet you here. I thought we would meet in Paris. You're not difficult to track. Saint-Georges told me about your little excursion in Corsica. I'm... Rip Bozo? Tails, how is that possible? This dude has no understanding of probability to begin with. What the hell? He shot his own foot off. I'm dying. <laughs> See ya, Rip Bozo? You two stop drooling in the background. Arrest this man. He tried to kill me. Yoink. Shh, not too loud. Our hero is crying. Crying over the injustice of his fate. <laughs> uh, sure, I surrender. Good. Whoa! Uh, he killed me? I'm dead? So this is you, the baby, the threat? I wonder how the Comte de Saint-Germain got his hands on you. You shouldn't have trusted him. He's one of us. He's like Erdnaz, like me. He betrayed you. Twenty years ago, Sophie was betrayed too. Hurry, the king is coming. This is unexpected. I read it. really sorry, my friend. It was not a game for you. It was a game for sharks like the Comte. I imagine you're feeling a little overwhelmed. Do you have any questions? Who are you? My real name is Erdnas. Twenty years ago, I was betrayed by McGregor. I had to disappear. Anything else? Who am I? You really thought you'd become the heir to the throne, didn't you? You don't know the whole story, lad. Anything else? Who's the Count? I'm someone who was lied to. He tricked me. More than you think. I groomed you, Comte. I engineered your fortune and disgrace from Versailles. It all started the night Sophie died by my hand. McGregor and I were employed by the nobility to keep an eye on the king. Our task was to drug Sophie and send her away to convent. The king and Sophie married in secret the year before, and she was about to give birth to a child. Many couldn't accept the idea of a mysterious heir from out the ether. But the baby was stillborn. What? Here's what happened that night. This... <laughs> that was an opportunity to practice how you're going to improvise? My brother in Christ, how can you practice improvisation? That doesn't even make any sense. It's like uh, practicing how to be spontaneous. And you are, madame? Baroness de Beauregard, your majesty. Yeah, and this is the comp sung young Eugene. With pleasure. Brilliant. I've looked forward all day. Yeah, of course, improv class is a scam. Just like be funny. I think, yes, one of these. This one's for daddy. And then, you know what? I'm going to shark deal myself anyway, the last one, just for fun. A win for young Eugene. Beware of the quiet ones indeed. Another round? That won't be necessary. Are you done making faces? Hundred percent I'm giving myself the aces, no doubt. You say Mada you Mada Vaga you The king requests both of your company. I believe in you, boy. I trust your judgment. The expert dealer. Number twenty eight. The actual ending? Experience. I made a mistake there. I thought I had overstepped one, but it's actually just because I had marked it earlier. Bro, my aces? So I think the way that we do best for ourselves is we give the Count one last chance to betray us, but I don't think he will. I don't think he will. He absolutely will. I trust him, man. Perfect gameplay so far. Trust the King. We steal these. I trust him. He literally told you to look out for number one. Oh, yeah. I'm still giving him the aces, man. What if I just gave everybody an honest stack of cards? 
Or I gave them all one ace each. Whoa! No, Eugene, I can withstand your accusations. I understand your anger. But I cannot bear a sloppy cheat. I have spent an hour and 41 minutes teaching you card tricks. We've been wandering through the whole bloody country. We're in Versailles playing against the King of France, who is, if you'll excuse me, your majesty, a tedious player. Pardon me, but I'm not finished. I'm so very disappointed in you, Eugene. How could you manage to misplace an ace here of all places? Got him. <laughs> there was no pageantry at all. Wine, Eugene, we need more wine. Yes, more wine. Uh, your lord, forgive me, but I'm about to go back to the old me. Eugene Le Palois, isn't it? I'm Citoyen Martin. The parliament sent me here to tell you that you're a patriot. It's not a word I use lightly. The funds you gave to our Cascarol friends helped the revolution immensely. <laughs> I knew I was playing the long game. My man's got two spades. He sticky palmed it. You think I didn't see your sticky palm? I'm sussing him. You're absolutely right. Yoink. Oh, for the ace of spiders. But how? What is wrong with you? Still got it. The end. No disrespect to the credits, of course. Dude, Card Shark, that was a cool game. I'm going to be honest. I think at the end of it, they're asking more than the average person is going to be willing to give. I'm insanely compliant. I'm unbelievably good at following instructions. I don't know that the average gamer is going to be capable of, uh, of getting through. Rocky Reels. Rocky Reels. That's uh, a bot. You don't need to. I mean, I did. I, I made a mistake there, but that's okay. Nice. It's all fade. right. I followed, I followed oh, through. Way in the distance. Oh! Right I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What I killed. This is the most insane shot I've ever landed. I want to beat my butt. You actually I fucking got that? that? I I one tapped him. Oh! Jesus. Guess who just got bleached today? <laughs> one right here in the in the middle distance, behind a cactus. Maybe. I love this. Yes! Yes! Oh! I never had a doubt in my mind. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Shit! Oh. The legends were oh, true. The Sims game. The Sims game. It happened. I don't believe oh, it. Man. Oh, man. Jesus. Hey, the new shotgun's great. I don't. Holy cow. <laughs> Holy oh, man. cow, man. What a game. Uh, Kyogre, are you happy? The, uh, you know, the Pokemon shows up on your screen. And I was, like, trying to catch mine. And one of the kids came over to me with a shiny Kyogre on his phone. And then was like, can you catch it for me? I don't trust myself. His hands were, like, shaking.
And I, what do you say to that? You don't say like, oh, no, I'm not any good. I just said, yeah, sure, kid. And I swear to you, first ball, I've never been happier to catch a Pokemon in Pokemon Go. That's so much pressure. First ball, it curves in, catches it. I hand the phone back. He was like, ah, he was so excited. And then it, I again, you're going to think this is too perfect for the tweet. Dead ass. Dude, they should make a Gen Z version of the Pink Panther. I already got the theme song. Could be, you know, Lil Uzi whatever maybe could sing it. Okay, it goes dead ass, dead ass, dead ass, dead ass, dead ass, dead ass. I'm the Pink Panther on God for real. Dead ass, dead ass. <laughs> Why are you bullying me? That's how they be talking on WhatsApp and stuff. No more bullshit. It's like, you know, 2037. Hey, uh, Tanner, can you step into my office? On God, it's been great having you be a part of this organization. No cap. But for real, we're going through a hiring freeze right now. The NASDAQ is really sussy. It's down like 32% year to day, and we have to return capital to our shareholders. So unfortunately, I don't know anything else they say, so I'm just going to say you are the weakest link. Goodbye. That's what the future looks like. Get ready. Your ass is gone. Yeet. Then they drop orange. This weekly is easy because there is an Emperor Tamarin. Just like, it's so pitiful, the things you guys say about Emperor Tamarin. He's not gonna call you, okay? You guys are not friends. You're giving it way too much credit. Three, three, two, okay. Well, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do one of these. I cannot sell any of my threes. I do love a rooster. This is the most scared I've been on this in a long time. I don't know where we're going. I do not wish to shuffle everybody's stats. Why don't you come here for now? The issue was with our decision to not offer catering or bar services at our wedding due to routing the money towards having a wedding Minnie and Mickey make appearances at our special day. The cost to have both Minnie and Mickey for a good chunk of time, 30 minutes, was almost exactly what our parents allotted for the catering budget, so we scheduled an appearance during our first dance and our wedding photos for going served food, though, we're pl though there were plenty of facilities at the venue where people could eat. Is the venue Disney World? This is something you can't do. Or at least you have to warn people like that you can't because when you go to a wedding um and it was the scariest zoo i'd like ever seen in my life as a kid i didn't know this but you know as an adult it was just like the the cheapest cages you'll ever see in your life that were like insanely small and then it would just have like a hand painted sign that's like african lion and then there would just be like a really skinny Lion just pacing around the circumference of the of the cage and like glaring at everybody just pacing the whole time there was a it was like the middle of July and there was a, a like a circus cage and there was a polar bear in it it was just walking back and forth and like looking makes me sick What's the difference between a beanie and a toque? It, uh, it's why he, he will not divide us, okay? It doesn't matter. It's, just, it's roughly the same thing. The name, yeah. And what's in a name? A rose by any other name would smell so sweet. Oh, really, Shakespeare? Then why don't you name it the pee pee poo poo flower? See how that works out for you. Hey, honey, happy Valentine's Day. Here's 12 pee pee poo poo flowers. I think a name's got a little more importance than, you, than you've led us to believe, Billy S. I'm gonna say it anyway. They have Uber for people.
you know, it moves people around. They have Uber for food. It moves food around to people. They need Uber blood. I know that I should donate blood. However, like every adult in the world, I think I'm busier than I am. I feel like I don't have the time. It's a big to do. It's a convenient, uh, an inconvenient thing to have to go do. What if you could Uber like a nurse to your house to take a pint of blood out of you while you streamed an Isaac episode? If, if Canada Blood Services did easily... Okay, did I ban somebody yesterday because we were talking about my YouTube channel and someone said, can you have your editor put chat in the videos? And I said, I am my editor. And then someone said, that explains why your videos are ass. And then I just hit this, the quickest slash ban QA uh, tab to autocomplete ban of all time. Yes. Did I then go back later that night, audit their chat logs, realize they've been watching for a long time, and then unban them? Yes. Absolutely. A lot of people would say be, be slow to anger and quick to forgive. That's about, I don't, I don't ban very often. Slash marker. That's Isaac four. Holy cow. He's insane with it. I don't know what we're going to do when I come back. Actually, I think I do. I think I'm going to play a new game. I promise you. I have it loaded up. I need to buy it on Steam and download it, but I'm pretty sure it's one of those games that's like six megabytes. So I will see you in a couple of minutes. I'm going to get a single serving cheese and run some ads. See you in a minute. It's not Project Diva F, okay? Okay. Tiny folks. Tim Cook is definitely on crack. I love that. This CEO is definitely on crack. Developers! Developers! Holy cow, it's a bop. Oh my god. It's kind of insane. It's a little, uh, it's a little Tim Fallen pilled. Ooh. We just floating on the damn breeze. The arpeggiator on our side. Two, one, let's go. Okay, it's good. It's a good song. But you know what would make it even better? If you just added a little remix to the background. Just give it, we need to find the right tempo. We're probably, I think we're looking at 1.75. All right, it's horrendous. I apologize. But what if we added the... It's approximately one one thousandth of one share. Okay, I think it's ready. I think it's ready to early access released. Let's check it out. It's a little loud. That's not your fault, game. That's my fault, but it's a little loud. That's one. That's two. Let's leave it on two for now. We might, you know what? I'll take it up to three just because I like Because it's just the worst, like... I don't know, just self-delusion I could ever think of. But then, like, the third comment down was like, at least this isn't as bad as me. I found condoms in my husband's gym bag, and he told me it's because he likes to use them with his butt plug at the gym. 
Yeah, it turns out he did like to use them with his butt plug at the gym. He was just also having sex with other men while he was there. I guess I should have known when he would come home at 1 a.m. and be like, sorry, I'm late. The squat rack had a huge line. And then the comment just below that was like, my reaction when I see through the stall door and make eye contact with the other guy at the gym putting his... She got really mad at me, actually, when we were driving back from, uh... Hold on. You know what? Give me, give me some magnetism, man. I need the magnetism. She got really mad at me when we were driving back from the U.S. Because, uh, Hot Potato by The Wiggles came on. And I was like, oh, I don't like this song, so I hit the next song button. And then she started to cry. And then Kate was like, put that back on. She loves that song. And I was like, okay. Hot potato, hot potato. Hot potato, hot potato. Mash banana, mash banana. So, I, I mean, I'm a good dad. I put it back on. I can listen to the broken social scene whenever I want. Oh my god. This is... A, okay, there's a lot here. Shooting while standing still might, may not consume ammo. Increase reload rate and move speed by 25% while Holy Shield is active. But max ammo plus two is, it seems insane to me. That's almost like doubling the size of our, our clip. Plus it's plus two, you're not wrong. Oh my God, we're getting levels so fast. Our economy is out of control. Reload rate plus 5%. I think Chad's right, honestly. I, I think Frost... Please. Please. There we go. Anything with ice on it? Any... What? Reload rate plus 100%. Bullet damage plus 50%. Max ammo minus 666. So it's like we shoot... Zero? I feel like this would take us to zero ammo. It might take us to one? If it takes us to zero... I, I think this is... Doesn't make sense. I don't understand. I don't think I could take it. I, I wish I could. I don't think I can. I wish I could. I wish I could. Give me increased pickup range, man. I want to I want to keep leveling as fast as possible. No balls. I mean, it says max ammo minus 666. So as far as I'm concerned, I think like my my clip size was about to go to like negative 661. But I do this for sure. Don't give this boss a chance, man. Frozen... Okay. Bullet damage plus... This is just all good. Bullet damage is better. Fire rate's better. Reload's better. Extra piercing. Extra max ammo. Yes. I mean, that's the given. And then just don't even give him a chance to live, man. Fade him as soon as possible. Let's go. What do you got for me? Increase bullet size and bullet damage by 15%. Deserved. Well, don't get too concerned. I only lost my shield. I haven't even touched my 4 HP remaining yet. We're going to make it. Unless we have to kill a boss at the end, we're definitely going to make it. I'd just like to level one more time first. Okay, fine. You know what? There's four seconds left. Okay, there you go. Minimum size of one. You survived! <laughs> Holy cow.
your magnet would block out the sun. Dude, I don't know. I, I think we could do with pyro here. I'm, I'm taking it. Don't. Come on. Come on. Well, everyone's saying reroll, but nobody's saying reroll for what? They just want to see new things. Lightning? Lightning what? Lightning stuff? Okay. Well, you know what? And now we've recreated the last run. 42's incoming. That would be a new moon record. I knew it. And you know what? There you go. <laughs> hey! Earned 16,000 runes. Let's go. All right, that was a lot of fun. Slash marker, 20 minutes till dawn. I'm just going to go ahead and say it. 20 minutes till dawn, that's a great game. The new, the new game taking Twitch by storm with him but he can't do it because he lost his mojo it's like a metaphor for something yeah yeah let's do this um so he goes like it's not you felicity you're you're shagadelic baby you're a spot of old rum whatever the hell that means i thought about what if what if there was that but it was like uh gen z austin powers using twi uh, uh twitch emojis oh that was not smart of me it's not you, Felicity. You're Poggers. You're a bit of Pog Champ. It's me. I'm a little Dan's game right now. They stole my Prime sub. Okay, bullet damage in size and pure. Fine. I can't believe we did it, though. Boys have swag, men have class. So true. I can't believe we actually won a run. It's the, it, there's a first time for everything, man. Quit to the menu. Pay out the believers for the first time ever. Finally. I was, I was getting into Slay the Spire tech, man. I was like, I'm, I, what am I going to do? Two wins with Dragon Egg now? I'll tell you, though, we're running one more back. We'll play another half hour or so. Take my um, plus 10% melee damage. I think we can do better. He does kind of look like Bernie Sanders. The Royals spaceships have eight gadget slots. The average spaceship of the blue collar Kaibo Crystal Miner has one gadget slot. Does this seem fair to you? I would like to mend a broken heart. How do I mend my broken heart? I don't think we can here. Just buy me some fuel then. Why are you so good at the Bernie Sanders impression? You're too young. You're too young. F average score 58%? Thought we did pretty well there. Quick pick, TV cops. Chad, calm yourself. Cop from The Walking Dead. Nope. True Detective. CSI. I'm moving on. Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Right there. I'm way too slow. Grim. New Girl. Arrow. Line of Duty. The Wire. Okay. Everybody loves Raymond. That's a gimme. Luther. Walking Dead. One of you's from the damn Walking... Oh, it's Rick Grimes, dude. Okay. CSI, crime scene, scene investigator, made to look like me, and we have it. So th th my, what happens is my daughter grabs that Funko Pop, and she says, normal daddy. And then someone else sent me like a figurine of me as like an Isaac uh, character that has like a pentagram on his head and is holding a D6 that's kind of a similar size. She grabs the Funko Pop and says, normal daddy. Then she grabs the other one and says, angry daddy. And then usually, like, the way that she plays with them is she puts them on the arm of the sofa, and then she just pushes them both off at the same time and laughs. That's where she's at right now. 
Quick pick alliterative TV characters. Sue Sylvester. Yeah. Battle of Bannockburn. Res Robert the Bruce. Battle of the Somme. King Henry V. Battle of Normandy. King Henry V. Which one? J.R.R. Tolkien. I must have missed the Battle of the Somme in the, the Silmarillion, apparently. Oh, because he was in the battle. He didn't write about it. I thought this shit was going to say Helm's Deep at some point. I thought it was going to be like a real battle. Oh, man. British monarchs who died in battle? Sure, yeah. Um, all right. Plays missing name. No, I, I, I'm very simple. I only of each fast food restaurant. Can I throw you for a loop? Obviously, America's number one in every single one of these. I'm going to make, I'm calling my shot. I think Canada is number two in subways. Whoa! That's more impressive than actually getting the top answer. I'm telling you, you can't shake a stick in this country without hitting like four subways. You want to talk about calling your shot? Okay, number one. I mean, again, I hate to do this because this is more like just name a country. I actually want the quiz to be in reverse. I want it, the quiz to be one question. Curious cop. I don't know. This is my first cop. What, like ever? Uh, yeah, I'm not a criminal. Oh, no. Chad, Chad, be cool. She's, she's under stress right now, okay? She didn't mean that. She didn't mean to suggest that anybody that gets pulled over by the police is, uh... Is automatically a criminal, okay? Plus, look at that. He, he saved us. You got us in the wrong lane, though, dude! Now, you folks want to tell me just what in the hell you are doing all the way out here this late at night. All right, now this is where I'm, I'm like, it's a free country. I'm going to say we're heading to camp, but there's a part of me that's like, I didn't realize it was illegal to be to awake at 2 a.m. Where I knew counselors. You know, Dwight Eisenhower built this interstate so it could be driven no, on no, 24 no. hours um, a day. But we figured we'd get in early and scope it out. You know, I mean, they know we're coming. We called ahead. And to be honest, sir, one of us kind of oversold their navigation skills and got us completely lost. <sighs> Disarmed. Good line. I give it the good line seal of approval. You're not going to make it to Haggett's quarry. Not tonight. Uh-oh. Harbinger Motel. It's the nearest place you can bunk up there for the night, okay? Uh, I think we're just gonna stick to the plan, sir. I mean, Mr. Hackett knows we're coming and we called ahead. No, ma'am, you're gonna head to the Harbinger Motel. Do you understand? Um, I'm gonna... It's a... Oh. Look out for my cards. You're right. Okay, next I'm going to in-jog that shit. I'm going to in-jog. I'm going to do a, a liar shuffle. I'm going to do a fake cat cut. I'm going to put the emperor right on the top of the damn deck. And I'm going to flip the script on you. The old Silas. Truth or dare? Oh, no. This takes me back to hearing stories of my friends playing Truth or Dare and wishing I was there. So, here we are. Like, if you're trying to scare me, it's not going to work. Now, this guy's a natural. He would crush it on YouTube. He'd probably have 1.01 million subscribers. No, they're they're funny. You think so this true. is supposed to be funny? Now take off the mask, Carly. Yeah. Wow. Well, I, I, I can't take it off. You think it's funny now, little boy? I... Because... Oh, you want to join 20 of my sexy clown friends in a tiny car that somehow fits us all like it's no big deal? Busy. <laughs> We got a we got a whole marketing deck set up. We yeah. we don't want to blow it up with some some guerrilla marketing. How about a teaser? Just a little corner. Just 
like a tiny corner. There you go. How about how about a tiny little corner? There you go. That's enough. It's just black though. Yeah, that's why it's a teaser. <laughs> Hello, honey. Does that look nice? It looks very cool. It's small, so I took it. Oh, okay. So I don't think you will wear it small. <laughs> you see a person? Time. We got wood. <laughs> You've already done that joke. <laughs> it's mostly just kindling. Oh, that's all we need. There's already a big pile of logs here. In your pants, we could maybe. Have gotten more, but there was a hog or a boar. But Nick was very, very brave and took one for the team. The hog of Hackett's quarry. Oh my gosh! It can't be the hog of Hackett's quarry. What? Thought you hated that phrase. Got plus two. Big jokes take big sacrifices. You're so brave. Oh, I just want to shrink you down to little pocket people and put you in my pocket and peep it to when I need a little pick me up. <laughs> What the hell? Okay. <laughs> she want to fight? What did I do to you? Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. Pop, pop, pop them in your mouth. Pop. I didn't even know you could still find these anyway. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Cool your jets there, cowboy. All right, these are spoken for. Dude, you can't just shove those in my face and not expect me to want to pop, pop, pop them in my mouth. Come on. Buy a nickel for every time I use that line. What, you going to shoot me over them? No, dumbass. Okay, we are going to... Shoot for them. Nah, dude. Absolutely not. No. I'm not leaving you with a gun. Okay, there is no way I'm leaving you dillweeds alone with a gun. Come on, look. The shooting range is like right over there. Okay, it'll be fun. Okay, look. You and me. Old fa um. Sure. Really dodged a bullet, huh? All right. Here goes. Have you ever slept with anyone? Oh, I, uh, I... Chad, I don't think we should be watching this. This is I'm just a little uncomfortable. I'm going to interrupt to to save hey, her. Take it easy, man. That's too far. Come on. I, I'm not finished. Um... Dylan is annoyed. Have you ever slept with anyone at this camp? <laughs> no. Nope. Sorry. All right, Abby, it's your turn. <laughs> Saved. All right, okay. Um, oh, Abby, oh my God, just pick someone. Jay, relax! Okay, okay. Um, I don't know. Oh my, okay, pick someone, pick someone. Jeez right. Louise, man. Truth or dare. Dude, you take dare every dare. time. Give me what you got. Okay, Ryan. Your dare comes with a choice. Can't you do that? I can do whatever I want. <laughs> dare and or I dare? I dare you to kiss either Caitlin or Dylan. Wow. I mean, I guess both is off the table. Sorry. I don't make the rules. I mean, you literally <laughs> just did, but okay. Let's do this. I mean, come on. Caitlin, shall we? That's a gimme. That's a good idea. I choose Nick. I didn't even have control over that. Dude, she's throwing a... She's throwing a monkey wrench right into the spoke. She's taking the rotor arm off the engine. Caitlin, you see? That's how the game's supposed to work. Guys! I love her. She's so messy. In 2022, we love a messy queen. Walked away. I think I did well. Nobody's dead. I am, as always, delighted that you're here. As always, I am. So, then. Welcome back. What so. What more has been found?
the hanged man. Yep. <laughs> to be the hanged man is to surrender. And by doing so, gain a new perspective. So look carefully and consider that sometimes one needs to be strong. She's kind of doing Monka Giga featuring Robert Downey Jr. right now. But these are just words. And it's just that simple. There. It's a fun game. You crying? Dude, being young is so exhausting. Like 10 minutes ago, this guy was going to jump naked over a fire pit. Now he's crying at the damn dock. Well, Jack Johnson plays in the background. A little messy. Stumble around each other like drunk jellyfish was exhausting. Poor kid was like a deer in headlights. It's cool, though. They're smart. They'll get it. I bet they're out there in the woods right now. Just absolutely going for it. She doesn't know. She lives for drama. Dude, she's so messy, but honestly, that means she must be authentic. I think I could fix her. First, I need to find a tarot card, though. What if we just jump? I thought she was going to do it. What, two dudes can't compliment each other's denim anymore without it being like flirting? Maybe they're just really into denim. And then maybe later, a little out of denim. Here's my impression of Dylan singing the Pink Panther theme song. Denim, denim, denim. I'm not gonna complete that. I'm not gonna complete it. Yikes, yikes. But it, does it make it less of a minus two if it's a callback? Holy cow, when did I turn caps lock on? Slash marker. What's this game called? The Quarry. I gotta be honest, dude, like four and a half hours just kind of flew by. But we, we can't get started. It's a fool's errand to get started here and uh, try to finish this chapter. That was, I had a good time, though. Let me um, quit to main menu and save. You know what I don't respect? I don't respect when you quit. You go to quit a game and it says, are you sure all unsaved progress will be lost? Okay. Then save it. You're the computer. Instead of warning me that horny i'm gonna intervene you all right there bud maybe dial it back a bit huh fuck all caitlin <laughs> holy cow dude look at the veins in his forehead he's not right Nick, what are you this boy's got low blood sugar hey come here huh? oh nick what the hell i'm ready for my qte uh, get off oh, watch out i said get off True. Down. 
Laura. Did you look at all the options, by the way? I mean, it's a lot easier for me because I just need the classes that'll let me major in veterinary sciences. Laura. You're undecided, so you have to make sure you get a really good balance of Laura. everything. Stop. Why? I I didn't get in. What the hell? What? Could have fooled me. The wait list. Why didn't you tell me? I I was embarrassed. Wait, your grades were good and you wrote a great essay? Yeah, apparently not good enough. Fuck. It's like the second word. No. Stop. I'm just saying, you know, maybe there's a slight chance it was a werewolf. Are you out of your- What the hell? Goddamn mine. <laughs> they made an SSD that works a little smoother. <laughs> what, what, what? What's so funny? I said literally the exact same thing. Okay. Oh, Do you, man. You got anything better? I mean, like, zombies, aliens... Time hopping Draculas. Okay, you want the aggressive Ryan? Shut the frick up. Ryan, right? Yeah. Shut the fuck up. Just stay back, okay? You shouldn't be this close. I'm handcuffed to the to the pipe. There's not a lot I can do about that. Right? First, the cop said, uh, "Don't get too close." And then he's saying, "Can you move further back?" I did. Max. Holy shit, you're gonna make me more but... Max? Tell me what's going on! <laughs> oh man! He got the damn stereo! He's got riffraff mouth! I guess he's mad about something. All right. I'll just go sleep in my cell. Now you go to the brick. Yes! Finally! They just left high school. Why do you think they're married? Because the game takes place in the United States of America? Have I made an incorrect assumption? Plus two, plus two, plus two. It feels damn good. <laughs> Go to sleep. Nosy little rat, aren't you? What the hell? You know where it doesn't belong. Don't believe everything you hear. Anyway, here we are again. Let's see what you've brought me this. I love it when she's rude to me. I don't know what this says about me. Nothing to show, nothing to see. What more do you want me to say? Find the cards or stumble around in the dark. Choice is yours. Yes, ma'am. You'll be seeing me a few more times before the night's over. I look forward to that. As long as you follow the right path, of course. Uh-oh. No, that seems bad. Oh, no, wait, because we killed the werewolf so Jacob can escape. We made a great choice. You guys told me I shouldn't have taken the shot. A soul for a soul. It's like the best trade of all time by accident. He's just walking away. He's not even under duress. Hey! Travis is devastated. Get owned? Definitely gonna kill this guy too. Wait. He did a lot of bad stuff. He just just kind of like sad about it. <laughs> I 
How did you think the moon stuff worked? I'm going to be honest with you. I've never been that interested in the moon. So, like, if theoretically, if there was no sun, there would never be a full moon. These guys never throw anything out, huh? So, do you want to give me some direction? They shouldn't call it a full moon, then. They should call it, like, a damn full sun. Anyway, give me a slash marker here real quick. Slash marker, the quarry. Because we don't have time for another chapter right now. But that's okay. Dude, I'm, I'm having a great time. I'd, I'd like to quit to the main menu. Thank you. Yes. Like my mom was telling me that she had like a, a bone density scan. She's like 56. And they showed that there was um, some bone loss like in her hips. And then she said, I was concerned because, and this is apparently true, uh, women in their 50s and older, if they break their hip, 25% of them die. Like they never leave the hospital. It's kind of crazy. Hip injuries are bad. Ryan was going to die, but then I let him get bit by the werewolf lady so that he would live. And my daughter, like as soon as I said Ryan was going to die, she looked at me and was like, and then just started to cry like uncontrollably. I, I didn't know that she knew... Uh, the words. And then I had to be like, no, it's, oh, daddy's okay. Daddy's okay. And then we, we were trying to figure out whether um, she actually interpreted what I said or alternatively if she just bit her finger while she was eating her quesadilla. And I think Kate believes that she just like bit her finger. But I... Night's not over yet. These fuckers know we're in here. <laughs> and they're coming back first chance they get. Great news. Okay. All right. We got to get a vantage point. She's so smart, please step on me. Chad, only I'm supposed to say that, okay? Also, I'm just going to say it. She doesn't pull off the pants as well as Max does. I think Max, he always knew to wear it well. He looks so fancy, I can tell. I don't mind you hanging around and wasting all my time. I guess he's just what I needed. Gun it. Gun it. Get down. I don't know what the... I don't know how they all got knocked out. I mean, this is like a Chevy Trailblazer, dude. I don't think they're punching through the roof. Or maybe it's a Silverado. Let's look around. Are you crazy? Thought there were bullets. Where's Ryan? You can see him back. They just passed out or something. He got scared. So he had like a, a, a wolf or something? <laughs> Everything's okay. Look at this. It, it's, it's the somewhere over the rainbow. Vlog music. Hey guys, I just everybody's been requesting that we do a day in the life video, so I thought it'd be really cool. Here's a completely normal non-stage day of the life of an influencer in Los Angeles. 6.45 a.m. Wake up, work out for 90 minutes, uh, 35 minutes of hot yoga, uh, two hours of uh, spa treatments. Sports movies ever made. Let's get some buy sell tech. One of these, one of these. We'll look for start of battles. Bro, no. What are you doing? Top five sports movies of all time. I mean, what's in what's in the top five sports movies of all time? Rocky. Yeah, okay. Rocky, Moneyball. The Water Boy is not in there. 
Rush might be in there. Foxcatcher. Okay, but that's, I mean, I guess it's a sports movie. But it doesn't strengthen my point, so I'm kind of like tempted to discount. Show Chet the otter. Can you show it to the camera? Can you show your otter to the camera, honey? Show it right here. Right over there. Lift high up. Can you. There you go. <laughs> 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 Did you have fun today? Yeah. Yeah, where did you go? I don't know. Aquarium, right? Yeah. 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 Simba. Simba. Oh, she said a hotter place? We went to the hotter place? Yeah. <laughs> so cute, huh? Actual orcs, not the ones that were crossbred between orc and human DNA at Soromon's birthing pots. Retconned by the villainous Peter Jackson, of course. Okay, I don't want it. I'm just gonna say it. There's too many monsters. Like, or orcs, goblins, and gremlins are the same thing. Don't even get me started on ogres. I know, is a, an ogre is like a big goblin that doesn't care about treasure. Ogres and trolls are the same thing. Ogre, great little bit though. We should stop asking people if they're a boob guy or a butt guy. And we should start asking guys whether they're, uh, like you, first you go, are you a boob guy or a butt guy? And then they go, oh, I'm a butt guy personally. And then we say, okay, are you a cheeks guy or a whole guy? I bet you would, honestly, if you ask that question to 100 people, I bet one person would punch you in the damn mouth. I can't uh, kill these enemies. Never mind, I'm fine. I'm a brain guy. Just kidding, I'm a butt guy. So true. Based, based. 2000 that a millennial could be elected to city council because they were all fucking nine years old, but we, we got there. Millennials stay winning. Don't mess with a generation that saw that Futurama episode where the dog waits for Fry forever and has lived through two, scratched out, three once in a lifetime recessions. Hold on, I really got to focus here. Excuse me, just briefly. Anyway, that's all I got. Don't shoot me with laser beams, you piece. Like the Marvel stuff, you probably like Doctor Strange too, but you'll really like it if you're a big fan of that Sam Raimi stuff. And then he hit me with like a, oh, which is the universal sign for like, I don't know what the hell you're talking about and we should like start a different tangent of the conversation. And I was like, really, it has a lot of similarities to the Evil Dead stuff, but I found its tone, especially in the second and third act, most similar to something like Liam Neeson's Dark Man. In my head, I was like, I'm definitely talking about Dark Man for like way longer than this guy cares to. But on the other hand, I, I kind of wanted to. And there's always the off chance that he'll be like, oh, I love that movie. And I'll be like, I didn't know anybody else who had even seen that movie. And then we'd become like best friends or whatever. After like two days of this, I took a shower and I was like, you know what? I feel like I lost a lot of weight actually. And Kate said, really? She, she brought out a digital scale and I was five pounds heavier than the last time I weighed myself, which was like a month ago. So this is a damn slap in the face. I went through the food poisoning just to end up slightly heavier at the end of it than when I started. Doesn't even make any sense. Anyway, did, have I done a slash mark? How the heck do you do this? Ends and something is just not right. Like something is is. I just don't feel right, is the the only way I know how to describe it. Like, the stream ended, and I felt, uh... I felt, like, melancholy. I just felt, like, wistful. 
And, you know, sometimes it happens. You, it, I'm not going to say streaming is, like, stressful. It's just, like, you know, you're, it's, it's high energy. You're talking to a lot of people. Sometimes you kind of, like, you come down off of it at the end. But this was different. I was, like, I'm sensible enough that I, like, the logical part of my brain was, like, this is a little bit weird. Um, and I took the baby out for a walk, which I normally do to begin with. Uh, normal, typical COVID symptoms, except a little bit of like a runny nose. And then also, I will say, my sense of smell and taste is all fucked up. It feels like it's being rewritten from like the ground up. Every time I open my fridge, I smell something just putrid. I don't even know how to describe it. I, I almost feel like my body is being terraformed. But you know what? I, I googled uh, symptoms of food poisoning, and apparently loss of s a sense of taste is also a food poisoning symptom. Like, oh, gross. You need to, like, honestly grow up a little. This is the human body. Yes. That's why you use a bidet? Honestly, I think a uh, bidet would have cut me open like a damn fire hose. It basically would have been like anal waterboarding. It would have sliced me up like a like Darth Maul's lightsaber, man. What is he saying? I muted. No, what? Nobody. You no, know, I um Taking profit is unethical. So whenever anybody subscribed to me over like the last 10 years, I put I wrote down a little slip of paper with their name and how many months they've been subscribed, and I put it in a big ledger book. And then I popped it into VTI, Vanguard's total US stock market uh, index fund. And then I'm gonna redistribute it all upon my demise. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, everybody loves investing now. Normally when I talk about investing, everybody's like, oh, minus two, minus two. Bad look, bad look. All of a sudden, you're getting the rewards and everybody's excited to talk about the legacy of Jack Bogle. Well, well, well. The good news is you can still get in. I got this dynamite piece of property I'm repping for a friend of mine who's a little bit... How could we consider this to be first-degree morbing? First-degree morbing requires intent. And what's my client's most famous catchphrase? It's morbing time. Now, Miss Jennifer Garner, did you hear my client, Dr. Michael Morbius, say it's morbing time? No? Then I posit to the court this could not be... First order morbing. It's second, maybe morb slaughter. Even the baby liked that one. Okay, we're taking the healing path. Bob O. Point, I suppose. Just checking. Ermagerd is legally blurned too. Red, white, and blurned. It's it's a it's a dear day of legally blurned too. Red, white, and blurned. My favorite movie on Blu-ray. I'm dead. Holy holy sh! I'm I'm insanely dead. That's not a real person. So I called the driver and was like, hey, just so you know, it's sending you across town, but here's where our actual address is. And he just started like swearing at me and being like, this is ridiculous, man. I don't know like why I do this. And I was really awkward and kind of like, you know, just quiet. And then he said, wait, are you the customer or are you DoorDash? And I said, I'm the customer. And he said, oh, sorry, man, I'll be there soon. And then we hung up. 
I guess he thought it was like DoorDash support that it called and <laughs> instead he just made me feel like real bad about it. And then I think maybe what happened is that he was so pissed off he just took the pizzas and was like, I'm just gonna fuck these up a little bit. But anyway, mom was actually a great cook by by mom's standards. She's she's up there. She made a lot of great stuff. And and still does, to be honest. But when you get when you're a kid and you get the bad mom meal, like the pork tenderloin and the mustard sauce or something like that, and then like the next night, you're like, oh, I, I made it through the pork tenderloin night. What's for dinner tonight? And then she's like, leftovers. And you're like, no! And you're like, I, I, got, I thought I made it through the ordeal, but now I gotta go through the ordeal one more time? And then you just eat it anyway, because you're like grateful to- Holy cow. I don't even have to shoot anymore. I touched a tree and lost my shield like a fool. Can we get a, a little pog? And it's beneath me to have to beg for pogs, I'll admit, but... Can we get a, at least a mini pog for the fact that I actually used a reroll appropriately for the first time in this game? That's a big moment for me. The damage of glare occurs twice as often. Okay, well, we already figured that out. So th this whole tree is maxed already. That seems pretty solid. What do we want next? I honestly feel like we don't actually need that much bullet damage for a or no numpad. Uh, can we all laugh at Josh for a second for being a boomer? Go ahead, do it. It'll feel nice. Who's using a laptop? Are you in your 50s? Do you carry it in a in a messenger bag draped over your shoulder as you hurry through the airport to make your connection? A laptop computer? I have a desktop. I'm a gamer. Sorry if that offends you. Level 3 puppy? I can wait around. Doesn't bother me in the slightest. I don't know about... I'm just surprised to see how many people out there are leaving a light on for laptops, honestly. I, I, I would have thought, honestly, like, hands... Type a one in chat if you're watching this on a laptop. I feel like my prediction is less than 6% of people are watching this on laptops right now. I'm going to start with the obvious. I'm not sure I necessarily fully trust all these results, but... Look at those ones. Do you have it sitting on a desk or do you have it sitting on your lap? Because if you have it sitting on your lap, else was having a conversation with another guy. I remember, like, we couldn't find them for a while. We were like, where's this guy? Where's this guy? And then I went up to my room and the dude was, like, sitting on my bed in my room... Like, you know, crying. Which is, I do want to say, like, you got your young alcohols involved, you know, emotions can run hot, right? Like, it's a little embarrassing, but, and a little cringe, but it happens. But I, I was trying to comfort him, but the thing that pissed me off is I kept a bunch of food in my room so that my roommates wouldn't eat it. And he had just, like, he ripped open my bag of Ruffles all-dressed chips and was just eating them on my bed. And I was like... Like, on the one hand, I'm like trying to make you feel better. But at the same time, I was like, bro, you ate like my, my name brand chips on my bed? Come on. Like, he, he had gone... Mm, not incredible. <laughs> not incredible. What's the other Pixar stuff? Turning Red! Turning Red was really good. Coco? Don't tell my wife. I, I'm, I'm throwing her under the bus on this one. My wife, it, and you know, Rare Kate L. My wife hates Coco. For whatever reason. She, and... Every time she brings it up to other people, they're always like, what the heck, you hate Coco? That's like one of the most beloved... Uh, Pixar movies ever. I'm in love with the Coco. So true. Okay, well, we'll just leave that behind.
I, I took a little offense when he suggested it was partly my fault that he didn't level Vig because of the message I said that said level Vig. But anyway, dude, we won again. <clears throat> Slash marker. Isaac 2. Pay out the believers. That run got good at the end. That's a classic Isaac statement. That run got good at the end. <clears throat> Can we zane it up with some Tainted Lost? Nope. Absolutely not. I can't believe... Dude, we're, we're going for 22 wins here. Can you believe this? Try it! But you would love to be... Literally swallowed by a giant lady. I don't think so. I don't, if you can't handle eating a, a an Inoki mushroom, I don't think you can handle being swallowed by a 90-foot-tall Japanese woman, okay? I don't think you got the stones for it. I think she's going to want a man who eats something besides chicken nuggets and mac and cheese because you are what you eat. She's gonna, she's gonna go for somebody who's not afraid to take some culinary risks. Final Fantasy VII's got a heck of a soundtrack, man. Tell me I'm wrong. I'm, oh man, what a song! It 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 do sound sound like John Philip Sousa. I kind of want to take a bat, but I also kind of want to take a crazy frog. He's doing his best. It's what's happening here. This is an insane team. It, and they lost all the same. Okay, YouTube title. The frog is S tier. One of my four faces. Okay, we got this. We got this. Let me think about what else you got. We got, we got awkward smile. And then we've got, like, scared. Like. And then we got a, li a little pog sometimes. I try not to use that that often, though. Okay, there you go. Ten wins. That was a good one. Is ten wins good? Is that, like, the best you can do or whatever? You could do Ninja Turtle face. Oh, you mean this one? They should make a movie that combines everything I love about Runaway Bride with everything I love about Runaway Jury. You could call it Runaway Jury Bride. It would be about a jury. Like, it's a notorious jury. They always are so excited to go to trial. I can't wait to judge this person as one of their peers. And then as soon as the judge is like, have you reached a verdict? They all just run out of the courtroom because they're afraid of commitment. No slurp required. He's spinning. They're laying their crits, they're crits! Let's go! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ooh. Sheesh. He was honorable. I don't know. Well, I don't know if they say honorable. He did let me full heal. That's not, I mean, that's like Dark Souls honor. I guess we should take HP, just in case. No off-season training at all, the, the Dustin Bufflin strat. 
I do. I mean, there was kind of like... This is going to farm plus twos, I, and I apologize for it. But I really feel like the 80s must have been like the easiest time on earth to succeed. You could be a professional athlete and not take care of yourself. You didn't have to fight in a world war or like Vietnam or something like that. After the 70s, the economy started ripping. Like, nowadays, to be a professional athlete, you gotta... Every time, man. It's every day, bro. Honestly, and I, I hope you'd be honest with me in chat, okay? Logan Paul said he's gonna run for president. I'll take the HP, I guess. What percentage of you would vote for him? Let's go over the tail of the tape, okay? He's young, which we always want in politics. Somebody representing the uh, the, the views and the needs of the young people. Um, he's he's uh, had a career both... Um, cupcake. And then I'm like, are you crazy? I'm obviously, what kind of parent would I be if I gave you a cupcake for dinner? That's just madness. And sometimes she'll like, she'll get quite upset. She'll be like, no, cupcake, cupcake, cupcake. And I'm like, you can cry all you want. I'm not giving you a cupcake. Like that's just, I, I can't give you an adult sized cupcake for dinner. That's just madness. Which is why I was laughing so hard at that, um, the mom photo where she was like, uh, my th little three-year-old has loved driving all his life, been obsessed with it all his life. Not paying out the wrong uh, side on that trade. That's the kind of run that'll make you love sap right there. Brings Just when I thought I was out, it brought me right back in. You'd be a legendary uh, celebrity. I hope you don't... Uh, lose respect for him because he was in the new Matrix movie because Neil Patrick Harris is legend. Wait for it. I hope you're not lactose intolerant because it's about to be filled with dairy. So true. Do you think... What, what do you think is the worst reaction image template? It hurts, so I went to physiotherapy and had to take some rest. Kate took over the super dad duties, and then wouldn't you know it, her back started to hurt. Who would, it turns out there's a universal uh, common element here. Anyway, so Kate was like, can you give me a massage? And she laid down on the couch. I was giving her a massage, and I was like, I was getting in there. I was putting, I could feel like the, the broken potato chips in her back, and I was like putting my, the tips of my knuckles right into them and going like, rawr, 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 rawr. So she was making noise, you know, like grunts. And uh, my baby was on the couch right next to us. And she just looked at me and like her, her mouth went like. And her eyes started to well up, but she wasn't letting like any reaction happen. I think she honestly thought that I was like killing mommy but she like her survival instinct kicked in and was like don't cry because then maybe it'll happen to you next it it broke my heart man because she was getting like traumatized i was just giving my wife a massage but then she was like upset but she didn't want to let me know that she was upset it made me feel like a bad person just for giving my wife a massage but like he, she had tears in her eyes, but like they weren't actually rolling down her cheeks yet. They were just welling up. And then her, her lip was just going like, oh man, you noob. Let me get one of these. I can only buy, you know what? Just go here, freeze a grape for the future. I don't, I don't need to get you to level three. It's only to enable a bison. Your ass is gone, okay? Sign this middle finger emoji, you piece. I'm, I want you to know I'm only giving you the attention you ordered because I saw you type it wrong two times in a row before you finally got it out. 
I just want to say congratulations on finally getting the correct uh, phrasing for the emoji to get it appear as an, uh, to appear as an image instead of just text. Congratulations. I remember when I used my first emoji. It's a scary world out there for those of the weekly. This is a very scary team. Your vulture, my juicer, my streamer. I think we draw, man. Wait, oh no, that didn't do anything. Unless it is a walrus! Let's go! <laughs> Actual... First, we needed the popcorn to pay out with the walrus. Then we needed that walrus to hit the other walrus. That was like a, like a 1 in 10 chance, then cut in half. Holy cow, luck, luck, skill, luck, skill. You willing to put your, uh, your chat life on the line now that we have placenta? Yes, I am. Okay, you're lucky I don't remember your username. So far, so good. You gotta be feeling good after that one. Kudos to you. Subpar1224. You, you left your life on the line. What are the... Uh, what are the odds of two good pills in a row in Isaac? That's got to be like one in a thousand. That's crazy. No, you don't get VIP'd for that. Come on. Have some standards. I'd be hard-pressed to pay eight bucks for any drink in a restaurant that's not a cocktail. I do have to acknowledge that there, there's like almost in tears. Or desk, I should say. Um, I was almost in tears, and I said... Excuse me, I think I lost my grandpa. Can you make a call for him on the PA to come to the customer service desk? And they did, and he was literally like 10 feet away. But the most embarrassing part of the story is not that he was close, is that I was at the, the age that I was when this story took place, you probably thought I was uh, like five. I was in the damn eighth grade. <laughs> Too, def looking back, definitely too old to be that perturbed at, at having lost my, my grandfather in the future shop. What does that mean for non-North American people? I was like 13. 25 American congressmen when I live in Amsterdam. Like, there, there needs to be, And I, I apologize to the United States citizenry that's watching this. Again, you're the plurality of the, of the viewing audience. You don't understand that as a result of your hegemony, the whole world basically becomes the United States of America. There really just, like, there should be light mode, dark mode, and then, like, no America for a bit mode. You should be able to, like, hit a button, and then any American tweets get filtered for, like, just 24 hours. And then I, you, a lot of people are saying based, but also, if you ever find yourself on the West Coast waking up at like 5.30 a.m., you realize that like oh, very staunchly against the edit button on Twitter. I'm not saying there's no way to fix this problem, but the way that I see it working is that somebody makes a tweet that's like, I like pizza, and then thousands of people favorite it, retweet it, reply, and go like, I also love this, I agree. And then the original poster edits the tweet to say, like, I love murder. And then everybody that replied, all of a sudden, it looks like they have a, a permanent record on their uh, Twitter account of liking murder publicly. But also, I just think that, like, we should accept that, like, typos are going to happen, man. Who cares about a... T like, it, does it seem a little archaic to... Buzz is pretty sick, too. I think that th this is too millennial of a bit for me to be happy saying, but they did not have to go that hard on the Magic School Bus theme song. Like, they, they must have hired, like, an ex-soul singer or something like that for that. Cruising all down Main Street, we're relaxed and feeling good. And they got all the ad-libs in the background. Step on in and don't be shy, come on. Just to make your day complete, you might get big to do it by on the magic school bus. Walk the river of lava. Like, the, it's only like 31 seconds long. But they... I agree cool shit should be legal. 
Okay, this is possibly the most insane North American take of all time. But does anybody else, whenever they watch soccer, think that the penalty for handball is just like a little too high? Like, I get that handball is like a serious deal in, in football slash soccer. But like, it's like, a, it's like the murder of soccer. If you accidentally touch the ball with your wrist, everybody on the field goes, Aah! for like five minutes right in the referee's face. Like, I, the ball's moving fast out there. He's like on and he's off. Like there's some days I see him and he's just walking his dog and he's like smiling. But then one time I was walking with my parents and he was blasting music on his bike and he was coming the other way on the bike lane and he was like, that's right, baby. We're going to send all you guys back to your country. He was like, looking me dead in the face. We're going to send you back to your country where you belong. MAGA 2024, baby. MAGA 2024. And I was like, what the hell is going on with this? It's, we're not even in America. And then I was like, that's really weird. And I was almost a little taken aback, okay? I was like, oh my God, what's going on? And then later that day, be a difference maker for us. Oh good, we're overriding your croissant. That's pretty positive. Dude, that was like the best run of Super Auto Pets I've ever had in my life. I don't think I've ever had a stronger pivot than that in my entire Super Auto Pets career. We lost like our first five rounds straight and then made the most insane pivot of all time. I told you, I, I feel like a bit of a maestro on the weekly this week. The ostrich it can be insanely good. <sighs> Run me back. And it all started with the jellyfish something. The Dan beat Melania. I expect my chat to explode when that happens, okay? It won't be one person typing, Dan, just beat Melania. It will be like a, a flood of pogs so fast that uh, we won't even know what hit us. Okay, right click to yeet your ammo. I mean, we the last time we played as this character. Oh, you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, if darkness level 15 is the highest level of darkness, let's play as whoever we want to play as. Let's let's get rerolls and shotgun. I mean that seems like let's prepare ourselves. Bosses attack more often. I got I got to get it put it in you. We're going to go back and uh, play some fall guys. I'll see you in a couple minutes. Okay, we got watermelon, orange, cherry, grape. Watermelon, orange, cherry, grape. Watermelon, banana, orange, grape, cherry. Watermelon, banana, orange, grape, cherry. Watermelon, banana, orange, grape, cherry. What? I'm so embarrassed. I lost on perfect match. I didn't even know that there was a... I didn't even know that there was a... There was an apple involved in that one. Hey, you know what? This is a great time to say thanks again to Epic Games for the sponsorship. You can't be mad. It is anti-grav. Nice, nice bounce. Holy cow. No! The sea's almost parted, dude. You can't grab it, you gotta wait. Oh! <laughs> he, still, he still got it. Ooh, the heart is pumping, I'm not gonna lie, man. 
heart is pumping a little bit. Holy cow. He even came with his chains and his crown. I'm cracked at this one. Glossettes are cracked? They're... It's, like, the, the worst chocolate and the worst fruits, man. Like, you can't be online in 2022 trying to, like, vouch for chocolate-covered raisins. No, man, really. Glossettes? Honestly? Honestly, if you have an... I used to... I used to think like you, but... Then I had some glossettes. If you haven't had them recently, they, they upped to the cocoa coefficient. After that cheating, that's fine. I'm getting my ass kicked. Nicole. Nikki. Chelsea. Miss. Mrs. I don't know. I don't know, man. Margit, maybe? I don't know. I wouldn't have thought that Arya would be this high. Ar Wait, Arya Stark. Sansa Stark. Um, Cersei. Lannister. Hana? I'm giving... Uh, this is too much. Holy cow. Ivy League universities. Let me get Yale. Seven Big Mac ingredients. Special sauce. Six most popular baby boy names of the 2000s. Tanner. Ryan. Michael. Always, there's always going to be a Michael in there. Five big five tech companies. Google. Four largest pizza chains. Pizza Hut. Three big Japanese automakers. Toyota. Two words of the famous Apple slogan. Think different. One even prime number. It's two. No! Oh, he's a genius. Because I started at six in my head. And I was like, what the hell? These are I, I'm a people pleaser, right? So he said, he says, we usually recommend this test for rectal gonorrhea. And I said, sure, throw it on. And he said, well, if you don't mind me asking, do you have receptive anal sex? And it just, the, the sentence... Like the, the sentence fragment, receptive anal sex, broke my brain. I was like, what does the word receptive mean here? Does it, I, it, like it took me at least 15 seconds to realize he was asking if I received anal sex into my own bottom. Because at first I was like, why would it matter whether it's receptive or... Now that was unexpected. An actual maze. Excuse, feel, excuse me, excuse me. Just gonna sneak right by you. I'm lost. Hold on. I'm lost. I was never really like a maze guy in school. It was much more like, hey, when I finish my, my work, just give me like one of those worksheets with all the, uh, like the multiplication tables on them and I'll just... Yee! I was like, where's the other E in understand? Oh no, here we go. How am I going to get it over top of this, man? Maybe I can maybe I can get it to drip over. <laughs> I can get it to drip. Dude, this is He's insane. You got to take a look. Okay, I would love to hear your little voice snippet. Let's see. Maybe you could just leave. 
A ship owner was about to send to sea a venerable old ship. He knew that her barnacled hull, however, had often needed repairs, and doubts were suggested to him that possibly she was not seaworthy. The conscientious old captain thought at once to have her thoroughly refitted, even though it should put him at great expense. Before the ship sailed, however, he managed to stifle these bothersome misgivings, and said to himself that she had gone safely other than the hubris of rationalistic a priori belief. It is admitted that he put his... Okay, this one's a little bit too much like the witness. You can only get good at chess if you love the game. False. Grandmaster Bobby Fisher. <laughs> well, you know what? I am glad that I said false then. Guy had a lot of bad opinions. I hate chess. I hate chess. I hate chess. Bobby Fisher? World champion Bobby Fisher. Yes, okay. <laughs> Very clever. Successful, successful joke. How about start and it's Oscar the Grouch? Can you hear me? I'm nothing but a rusty chunk of steel. You don't want nothing to do with me. All right, all right. <laughs> I'll tell you my story. Emotional weather report? It was June the 8th, 1947. Gray morning, slightly foggy. Back when you got a good one. All right. That's enough of that. Okay, follow the pipes. The pipes. The pipes. We got to go back up on the castle walls. Back up. Back up. I don't need to hear his story. I'm sure it's all he, he knew what he was doing. And then he just like started spacing her out with uh, Hadoukens. Then she jumped in and he hit her with a dragon punch. I was like, this guy knows what the fuck he's doing. This guy, he's, he's, he's been a, a shark the whole damn time. Okay, start game. I'm ready. Oh, no. <laughs> Amazing. It is a little loud. I'm kind of insane with it. Oh, whoa, whoa! What a game. Whoa! I gotta trace through the whole damn maze again? One second, I'm more of an ori- Hey! I'm more of an original artist. So, tracing does not come naturally to me. Saved, saved, saved. Yo, I'm a genius. Yo, I'm stupid. Okay, one second. You gotta change your perspective, okay? <laughs> Okay. Oh wait, it's a giant cop. Great moment. Oh, is that the end of the game? That was very well done, honestly. For a little mini game, lampooning the the witness, very clever. I see your witty little owns. I love this. Every time I finish a game, I'm like, hey, where'd you get that bush with small round leaves? And could you show me the creative licensing on it, please? Hey, whoa, 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 just curious. Where'd you get the wi- Oh, and it just closes. Honestly, it's kind of incredible. Especially considering he's not even supposed to be here. Look, all I'm saying about the Creative Commons stuff Music is whatever. Maybe you hear the song and you go, I'd love to know what the song is. But like round bush texture? Come on. Does that have to be in the credits? I mean, legally speaking, maybe, but... Nobody's finishing the damn game and they're like, Oh, dude, I would love to use that round bush texture. 
Zero to one, two, three. You gotta, you gotta put a three in there. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hey, we talk a lot of crap about Netflix, but let's do it some more. Um, I've been watching some Netflix stand-up specials lately. You know that how they have a skip intro button? They should add a second button when you watch stand-up comedy on Netflix, where you can also skip the comedian's obligatory 15-minute COVID bit at the start of every special that's come out in 2021 and 2022. I literally cannot handle it anymore. Oh my god. Every single comedy special now starts with Lockdowns. So when we were at our in-laws' place this weekend, it'd be a frozen finger. Um, we played Pictionary, and it was honestly it, it reminded me of of the NLSS days because like there's a. It, it basically my nieces googled like. Pictionary word list. So then they got a matrix, like a three by 100 grid of Pictionary words. So whenever they drew, they would go convene and they'd be like, do you want to do this one? No, 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 this one, no, 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 this is, no, we can't do that one. That one's too easy. And all the words are like banana. Apparently this is a thing in the future when you get like some equipment, you can like find this or something. I don't know. Oh, cool. Honest piece of feedback for this game. Yeah. Um, they should add uh, Boba Fett and Bruno Mars. Okay, that's I, I about, walked in front of your shot. That there's no excuse for that for me. I what apologize. About, what about a little bit of Ariana Grande? <laughs> you Grande. know what? Yes, please. Let's get that. I'll I'll take an Ariana Venti. <laughs> you know what I mean? Good one. Thank you. No. I'll, I'll take an Ariana. Tall. I'm really upset about that one. You love it. You know what? Ring stolen from us. I haven't made the finals in like an hour, man. Get me out of here. This is crazy. Lose before finals. I'm feasting. I'm war chesting, man. Maybe don't ignore golds. <laughs> you, you honestly, you should work at the American education system by how quickly you crushed my dreams and how useless your feedback was. If you ever get uh, big crimson ink, do better next time. Thanks so much. Thanks so much. I'm coming to school with an empty stomach every damn day. You're mad at me because I got one thing wrong. I'm at eight time times tables. We all got supercomputers in our. Nothing wrong with that. Enable clean. Dude, there's so much emoji inflation. When I was a when I was a young streamer, there were like six emotes. Resident Sleeper, Fish Mole, Kappa, and then colon right parentheses. Blast ball. Avoid the falling floor and throw blast balls at your opponents. Okay. I don't even know what clean is. It's Dude, I'm kind of cracked at this. I love dodgeball. He fell. Go ahead, face me. It blew up. It blew up in my hand. My heart was pumping so fast. What happened? It, it blew up in my hand. Okay, at least we made it to the finals for the first time in forever. I mean, I'm the only... He's like, just, just keep hitting him the ball. He'll screw it up. I can't disagree. Oh, what a shot, though. Yes! Just hit it once. That's all you got to do. Holy cow. My streamer. <laughs>
Oh, man. Woo! Little Caesar, my tapeworm, my parasite. Six qualified. Thank you for sharing this. It's precious. Isn't that nice? How do people remember this shit? Oh, man. Christmas night. Playing this on my new Game Boy. Eating quality street in my warm bed. I thank my parents for a great life. X. How I miss those days. Feels bad, man. I thank my parents for a great life. How I miss those days. This is a damn RoboCop theme song, man. Okay, this is how badass this composition is. 11 years old at my school in my home country of Zimbabwe. I'm getting dizzy. Stop grabbing. Okay, we made it. You can't kill Little Caesar like that? I mean, if there's a medicine that kills Little Caesar, I would, um, I would, he's going bye-bye. Let's put it that way. But I do not want to have to do the thing where, uh, oh, I remember this one, okay. Uh, where they hold food outside of your butthole and wait for the worm to uh, poke his head out and then grab him with some chopsticks and put him in the garbage disposal. Ever. Stop bitching about the easiest part of the map being hard. Don't describe it as bitching. Come on, was, uh, we're bantering. Hey guys, welcome to another Pogger stream. Uh, don't forget, use code uh, COOLSTREAMER at checkout. Code COOLSTREAMER at checkout. We're sponsored by, you can get a cool little, uh, you can get a metal poster with, with Samus Aaron on it if you use this code at checkout. Hey, by the way, if you use this code, you get an extra five bucks in Radio Shack coin when you sign up on this uh, crypto. And then you got to type back on top of it. This is sent from my typewriter. Dude, I guess, it, you know what? Someone asked me earlier if I have any insane takes. I know that we've we've talked about this before, but I, I stand by it. I think spaghetti is the worst common pasta shape. It's, it's, what, what are the benefits of spaghetti as a, don't, like, ignore the meat sauce, because you could put that on any kind of pasta. What's the benefit? I'm definitely like a, I'm a big believer in noodle thickness. Like ramen, love it. Soba, tolerate it. Udon, too thick, too spongy, too bready. Gets too watery when it's in the soup. I already know you're gonna minus to me, okay? That's, you can go ahead and minus to me. That's just the way my brain interprets the taste. Obviously, millions of people love udon, but uh, for me, the noodles, I'll go to the computer lab and, like, you know, boot up Netscape Navigator and learn what, oh, okay, I'm dead. Learn what, like, a, a URL was. And then 
my mom said the first day of, of cyber sports camp, I, uh, I came home. I was like seven years old. And I said, Mom, what's sex? <laughs> and I still don't know the answer, to be honest. We'll run it one more back. I still don't know. I never found out. She said, I'll tell you when you're, uh, when you're older. And uh, I'm still waiting. with you except for that cute baby and I was as soon as he said that I was like we're in man we're like this is this one's a gimme I'm not getting hassled at all it was weird I, I think chat's not gonna like this but when he looked at Kate's passport he looked at her and then he said on young Haseo which is fine because my wife is Korean but her passport does not say that she is Korean. It says that she's Canadian. So he honestly, he took a gamble and it ended up working. But if it didn't work, imagine his embarrassment. life without a doubt my dad knows about a hundred gex yeah probably because you won't shut up about it but he loves you because you're his child so even though it's insufferable he like uh tolerates it just in order to spend some time with you because you won't talk about things that he's actually interested in because he's old and thus you don't value his opinion that much instead you'll only talk to somebody if you actually get to talk about your interests because you're self-centered so that's probably why your dad knows about 100 gex okay Maybe you should talk to him about, like, how he feels about the difference between Lowe's and the Home Depot next time. I, I'm sure he's got a lot of thoughts on it. He's trying to get out. He can't talk to your mom about it because she's already heard about it, like, 70 times. Get captured. Get captured. 11 seconds. That's enough time. I was built for this. Bullet baby, that's bullet baby. Was it Night G5 just crushing? Was it more crushing than Made in 2? Go ahead, capture me. See if I care. Bro, what? No matter how wrong things went in your life, at least you're probably not the kind of person who plays 